Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 10th episode of my podcast, Wild Wanderer, where I answer your hiking and outdoor related questions. Be sure to look at the description for links to my website, book, and helpful links to topics I'll be discussing today. Hiking doesn't need to stop in winter, but you do need to be a little more prepared. We previously discussed winter weather as well as gear. If you haven't already watched these episodes, I encourage you to do so, as I'm adding to that important information in this episode. Today, I'm going to give you some winter hiking tips and tricks to keep you warm and safe. So in addition to the 10 essentials, I'm going to go over some other items I carry in my winter pack. Remember, it's always important to keep your pack packed and to put things in the same place every time so you know where to find them quickly if needed. First of all is carabiners. I attach these all over my pack and find them useful to keep things in place. I even use them to secure my water bottle to my pack just in case it slips out, which it has on several occasions. Next is a jet boil. This contraption will take water and boil it in less than a minute. If I'm in need of warm water, this is a lifesaver. I'll sometimes fill my water bottle with warm water and just hold it in my hands to keep warm. Now, I like to use a water bottle with a wide mouth lid as water tends to freeze quickly above tree line, making it useless when it turns to ice. If I'm worried about my water freezing, sometimes I'll keep it inside my jacket closer to my skin to help keep it warm. I don't like having a water bladder in winter because the hose quickly freezes. I also have a stylus with me and easily accessible. These are very inexpensive and work on a touch screen, so you don't need to take off your gloves to open up and use your phone. I also have a small travel tie size tub of Vaseline in my pack. I slather it on my nose to keep it insulated and warm from the wind. Sunscreen is important all times of year, including the winter, but it can be difficult to apply because it can freeze in colder temperatures. I also don't like to take off my gloves because once I do, my fingers turn to ice. So here's a trick I came up with to keep my fingers warm while still being able to apply sunscreen. So I went to the dollar store and I bought a small compact of pressed powder. I took out the powder and I pour some of my sunscreen into the empty space. Then I put the pad back on top. I keep this in my pocket and when I need to reapply sunscreen, I can without exposing my fingers to the cold. If the sunscreen does solidify, I found it melts when it touches my face, so it can still apply pretty easily. So we've talked about gear, now for some tricks to hiking above tree line in winter. When you get to the trailhead, get dressed in your vehicle. I see so many people get out of their cars to get dressed, but that only means they're starting out their hike cold. Stay inside where it's warm so you can start your hike warm. Okay, I learned this one the hard way. If you have long hair, tie your hair back and make sure it's secure. The winds above tree line can be intense. I've had the wind take out my ponytail holder and I've had it take out a hair clip, so now I braid my hair when I hike. Otherwise, my hair is whipped all over the place and it's a tangled mess when I get back to the trailhead. Another trick I do is I tie cord to the zippers on my pack. So when my fingers get cold, they're of no use. So I do my best to never take my gloves off, but my gloves are big and bulky and they don't give me much dexterity. So I tie these strings onto the zippers of my pack so I can grip them and the zippers are easier to use. This is something I learned the hard way, but always pee before tree line. <laughs> Once you're above tree line, you're exposed and you don't have the comfort to be hidden in the trees. In addition to privacy, the trees also shield you from the wind. Now I've heard about people stashing gear that they need but they don't want to carry and this makes me cringe. They leave it in a place they think they'll remember and continue on their hike so they can carry less weight. Now never leave your gear stashed. If you needed it to get up, you'll probably need it to get back down. I can promise you, your gear will be much more difficult to find on your way down. Even if you leave it in what you think is an obvious spot, it will be difficult if not impossible to find. I've also heard stories of Good Samaritans finding snowshoes or somebody's stashed pack on their hike and bringing it back down, thinking that somebody had forgotten the lost item. If you see stashed gear, leave it because someone could be relying on finding those snowshoes for the trek back down. Your good deed could actually cost someone their life. If it's cold when you're hiking, keep moving. The best way to stay warm is just to keep moving, even if it's slowly inching forward. Instead of stopping for breaks, slow your pace down, even way down to keep your body moving. Baby steps are better than stopping. I also hear stories of people bringing beer or a shot of whiskey to enjoy on the summit, but I think this is a really dangerous practice because the summit is only halfway. You still need to retrace your steps to make it down to your vehicle. So don't overexert yourself just to make it to the summit. 
and wait to enjoy that beer until you make it safely back down the mountain. You want all your wits about you while you're hiking. I hope you enjoyed this episode and be sure to watch next week's episode where I discuss what I keep in my first aid kit. And to help me keep these episodes coming, please ask me questions by commenting or going to the contact button on my website. Thanks for watching and remember, I want you to win at life and enjoy the adventure.